Hey guys, check out McCord, uh, McCord Farm Project. How you doing out there? What are you doing? Uh, we're fixing to go uh, roll around. Me and these two knuckleheads. Fixing to go roll around and uh, get the last of the bee boxes. We are uh, just going to get the boxes. If they don't have any bees in them, we're gonna get them too. You know what I mean? Uh, we just stopped here at this first house where we tried to catch some bees and guess what? We caught some bonus. Anyway, that's where we're at. That's where we'll be for the next 15 to 72 hours, good Lord. Okay, so I am going to put these bee traps in that I caught last night. I have some extra frames that I needed to wire up because I don't have enough frames to put in the boxes to fill them up. So I did that. And now we're getting ready to roll. All right, we went last night we got the boxes. We had nine boxes out. We only had three boxes of bees in them, which is fine. That makes like 16 for the year. So it ain't like I ain't caught some bees. I got these two already in. I'm gonna show you how I get these out. Put them in the day gun box. Mm -hmm. There are a ton of bees in this box. I'm gonna just scan to see if I see the queen because I'll probably come back in a couple days and check. If I don't find the queen now, I'll probably come back in a couple days and check and see if I can see her after they get calmed down and settled down and whatnot. So we're gonna put that yellow box. Here's the queen right there on the side. There are a ton of bees in this box still. It didn't look like they had any comb drawn out, like they might have just moved into this box not long ago. Um, whenever we put the boxes in, we put some comb in there that is already drawn out, so that attracts the bees to the box. Um, so, they have already started working on that comb, but I didn't see any eggs or <clears throat> anything like that in there. So I think they just moved into this box, but I'm gonna stack another one on top just because there's so many bees and they can work a lot faster. Got all these knuckleheads back here. They ain't helping me at all. I got all these bees piled up in this box. So one of the easiest ways to get them out 
take the frame. It's got a little bit of drawn out comb on it and a bunch of them bees will pile up on there. And you can take them out and put them in the box. Find me another rock. It's hot. You hot? She's not hot. Don't be looking at my daughter. Dad gum it. I'm gonna let them calm down a little bit. I'd have shook two boxes out. I bang them on the ground. The bees that are left over in the box. That one box had a ton of bees in it. So I'm gonna let these other boxes calm down a little bit and get oriented to where they want to go before I put all them other bees in there because it's going to be a ton of bees in there. In just a second. But it's late, man. It's late in the season. It's uh, June to something or other. Um, it's almost 4th of July, so it's that late in June. After that, you're not gonna catch very many swarms. If you do, they're gonna be little old tiny things. And that ain't what we want. We want them big ones so we can get some honey. So we'll have a pile of bees. My traps I use is 20 inches tall. That means that it's the same size as two nuke boxes stacked on top of each other. But I only put five frames in there. That way it gives the bees, it makes the bees feel like they got room to grow. So, if there's a lot of bees in there, then I'll go ahead and stack two uh, nuke boxes on top of each other. And uh, that way they can grow. But if there's not a lot of bees, then I just leave the five frames in there and wait till they get them filled up. And then I make a decision on whether I'm going to put a medium or a, another full size box anyway I don't know what I was talking about these boys got me so discombobulated they messed me up something fierce I tell you what they cracked this <laughs> looking it was all piled up in that box I was looking to see if there was some more queens down here them a ring. They're all scared, man. I don't want to be the first one to fly. Start with B. 
Hey, I'm not a bee expert, but it works on my farm. It might not work on your farm, but it works on my farm. I just rather have most of them off the ground before I leave. Hey, <laughs> McCoy Farm Project. We got crackheads everywhere, bees everywhere, pigs everywhere, goats everywhere. Good Lord. Like and subscribe to see more crackheads.